All right, in this video, I'm gonna walk through my 2020 photo sales. I'll show you month by month, site by site, and then I'm gonna compare 2019 to 2020. So you can see the best websites to sell your photos online in 2021. Now, in general, 2020 was a lower year for my photo sales um, through most of the year. So January through October, um, I saw fairly low sales and they picked up in the end of the year around November and December. Now, if you exclude Invanto Elements, um, I made about $360 less in 2020 than I did in 2019. Now, the reason that I'm excluding Invanto Elements is that around mid-2019, they changed the way they paid contributors and I went from making like $250 dollars a month to like two dollars a month so it really isn't a fair comparison because it was because of that change that happened in 2019 so i'm just going to exclude event elements from the reviews i'm doing today and if you've seen some of my past videos um, i'll put a link down in the description to the one where i describe what happened with Invanto. but it was one of those sites that i was recommending previously if you were in there in 2018 it was a great site but in 2020 it's not great that great of a site and going to 2021 i don't see much of a change now, the reason that my photos didn't do well in 2020, I think is mainly because of COVID. I'll put some links down in the description so you can see the types of photos I take. But for the most part, I take photos while I'm on vacations. And because of that, a lot of my photos are used by travel companies. And the travel industry didn't have a great 2020 because of COVID. So I think that's one of the reasons why I saw lower sales. You know, if I was the type of photographer that like ran around and took photos of people with masks on when COVID hit, I would probably would have seen some good sales on those types of photos. But I didn't do that. And that's because I do most of my photography on my vacations. It is more of a hobby that I make a bit of money on the side at. So take a look at my photos. That kind of explains a little bit about the types of photography that I'm doing and why I see them, you might have seen different results if you do a different type of photography. Also, to give you an idea about how much time I spend on photography, I uploaded about 145 photos in 2020 and about 50 videos. Um, most of those photos were taken on vacations. Some of them, you know, I went out a couple of times near where I live at sunrise and took some photos or took some videos and I uploaded those as well. So I wasn't really spending a lot of time, you know, uploading thousands of photos. I just did 145 and a lot of the sales, that $2,700 came from photos that I had uploaded in years past. Now that $2,700 really just covers my camera gear as well as a lot of the software I use for, you know, editing my photos. Now let's go in and take a look at the actual sales by site. Now this is a huge change from previous years as well as a huge surprise that Fine Art America was my top site. I've always made some sales on Fine Art America but it's never been a lot and because of that I have not uploaded very many photos since like 2016. So all those sales on Fine Art America were photos that I uploaded more than four years ago. Now, the only reason that I can explain this is I think, you know, people bought more on Fine Art America in 2020 than they did in past years, probably because of COVID, right? People maybe weren't traveling that much. So they wanted some travel photos for their house. I think a lot of people got stuck at home, so they decided to redecorate and then they would buy more, you know, art photos on Fine Art America. So I think that really explains that. And because of this, I think Fine Art America is one of the sites that I'm gonna focus on a bit more in 2021. Because I haven't uploaded there in about four years, I've got hundreds of photos that I have on other sites that I don't have on Fine Art America. And because I'm seeing such good sales, I'm gonna start uploading those photos to Fine Art America. Now, one of the things with that site is they don't have a great like bulk uploader. You can only upload like five photos at a time. So it will take me a while to do but you know if I can make an extra four or five hundred dollars in 2020 from those sales I think it's worthwhile right one of the things to note though is that the types of photos that I take are kind of art worthy I guess one of you know one of the reasons I take them is I do print a lot of photos and put them in frames on my walls to remember my vacations right and you know there was a photo that I took of my kids on a beach this year that we did like a huge print and we put it up in our room so when I am taking my photos you know one of the reasons I take them is to hang on my own walls so I really you know like it when other people go on Fine Art America and purchase them and decide they're good enough for their walls as well too um, so that's one of the main sites that I will be focusing on in 2021 because it did so much better in 2020 now, number two on the list was Shutterstock. This isn't really a huge surprise because Shutterstock is normally in the top three. Um, it is lower than previous years, but Shutterstock is one of the biggest Microstock sites, so it typically does pretty well for me. 
Number three on the site isn't much of a surprise either, Pexels. At the end of 2019, I was seeing a lot more donations coming from the very few photos that I had up on Pexels. And because of that, in 2020, I decided to upload all my photos to Pexels. So those 145 photos that I did, I uploaded them to Shutterstock, but I also uploaded them to Pexels at the same time. And I made a fair number of donations. So I'll continue that into 2021. All right, so those are my top three sites in 2020. So I would recommend that you upload to those sites in 2021 if you don't upload them to them now and you're looking for new sites. But what I think is more interesting is going and looking at the trend for some of the other ones, the change from 2019 to 2020. So for that, I'm gonna go look and I've got a yearly comparison. Now, what you can see here is that Fine Art America was the best site again. It was the biggest increase um, overall, um, followed by Pexels. Now, next on the list is FreePick. FreePick, I didn't have an account on FreePick in 2019. So I just started that like mid 2020. So it actually looks pretty good that I made $100 on it. However, unfortunately, I made that $100 in like the first two months that I had my photos up on FreePick. And then after that, I've only been making a couple of dollars a month. Um, on top of that, they've made it very difficult to get payments and it's a bit difficult to upload there. So although it is high on this list, um, I it's not really one of the best sites that I see a lot of growth for 2021. Now, next on the list is Pond5. Um, I don't think that Pond5 is probably growing overall, but it grew a bit for me just because I started doing some more video uploads. So Pond5, I've had my photos up on Pond5 for quite a while, um, but Pond5 isn't really well known for like still photos, and I don't get a lot of sales on there. But this year, one of the things I wanted to do was try to learn more video. And so I got out and I took more video clips and I did, pro did a bit of processing on them and uploaded them to Pond5. So this is just me trying to learn how to do video better and put them up there. And Pond5, you know, I just made a couple sales and it ended up being $67. So that's why it was a larger dump, probably more so because I started uploading videos there as opposed to, you know, it being overall growth from from past year's uploads. That being said, I am going to continue doing Pond5. I think if you do video clips, Pond5 is a really good spot to upload your videos to, um, and you should be uploading there in 2021. However, if you're just doing still photos, I wouldn't recommend uploading to Pond5 because I just don't think you're gonna get that much sales and it's really just not worth the effort. Now, the other thing we want to take a look at, not just the top of the list, but the bottom of the list. And this is a huge surprise. I did not expect that this was going to happen in 2020, especially as much as it did. But Adobe Stock was my largest decreasing site. So I made less on Adobe Stock more than any other site this year. And that's somewhat surprising because I think, you know, if you follow the stock industry, one of the big things that happened in 2020 was Shutterstock changed the way that they do pay payouts mid-year and a lot of people thought that was going to see a huge decrease in sales and I did see a decrease in sales from Shutterstock um, but not as much as Adobe and Adobe had been doing fairly well so I think this is COVID related but you know Adobe was my biggest loser I guess of 2020 um, followed by Shutterstock and if you look at all these ones in the bottom it's a pretty clear trend that the traditional micro stock sites all did worse for me in 2020 than they did in 2019. So the question becomes, you know, is it still worthwhile to upload your photos to Microstock sites in 2021? Personally, I am going to keep uploading my photos there. You know, I use our PhotoLoo app to upload the photos to the Microstock sites. And then the same photos that I upload to like Flickr and Instagram. So it's, you know, I'm going to be creating these photos anyways. And because I use PhotoLoo to upload them, it only takes me like a couple extra minutes each photo to upload them to these sites. And for the extra six 650 bucks that I make on Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, I think it's worth the two or three hours of work that I put in each year to kind of keep those sites relevant by uploading photos there. So I've gone through and talked about, you know, which sites I'm going to be focusing on a little bit more based on my past sales. But one of the things I always do this time of year is decide whether I'm going to start uploading my photos to any new sites or any sites that I haven't been focusing on in the past. Past. So one of those sites that I already talked about was Fine Art America. I'm going to start focusing on that again. I hadn't done it in a number of years, so I'll kind of get the rest of my photos up there. But I think because Fine Art America did so well, 
in 2020, I'm also going to start focusing on some of the other print on demand sites. Like for example, Redbubble, I've got maybe a dozen photos on Redbubble, um, that, you know, I uploaded, you know, six, seven years ago, but I haven't really been keeping up with that account. So what I plan to do in 2021 is upload more and more photos to those sites and see if I can get similar results to what I've seen on fine art America. Right. You know, once you get your photos up on these sites, it just becomes passive income. Right. So the photos that I upload this year, you know, I still could be making art sales on them four years down the road, just like what happened with Fine Art America. So that's one of the things that I will be focusing on differently in 2021 versus 2020. Now, the other thing I think about this time of year is, are there any sites that I'm going to stop uploading to? Okay. Um, and right now my uploading workflow is pretty streamlined. I use Photoloo to upload to all my sites. So I, you know, upload to Photoloo and then it pushes my photos to all of the different sites right away. So it's not a lot of extra effort to upload all of these sites. The only site that I currently upload to that I can't do with Photoloo is Pexels. Um, but it doesn't take me that long to upload each photo there manually and and, you know, it's worth it because it's one of my higher sites. So I'm not going to take away any sites um, right now, I don't think. Um, Free Pick is one of those sites where I might decide to, you know, take out mid year if it doesn't pick up, but I'm going to probably do it for at least the first half a year to give it a chance and see, you know, if the sales increase and go back to like what they were the first couple months. The other thing is, although I saw like a dramatic decrease in my sales on the Microsoft in 2020, I think a lot of that might be COVID related. And, you know, as the vaccines roll out and people are able to travel more, you know, I think I may see my sales go back up in 2021, you know, as things go back to a bit of normal as hopefully they will sometime later this year. So I really hope that you found this useful. If you're new to the channel, this is what it's about, you know, selling your photos online. I talk about tips and tricks as well as how my sales are going. Um, if you found this useful at all, make sure you give it a like and best of luck selling your photos online.